Thank you for joining us at XM.com for today's market comment by Harlan Bospisudos. I'm Maria Pachurdez. The US dollar extended its gains as US Treasury yields rebounded, with the 10-year benchmark rate resuming a move towards the psychological zone of 5.0%, briefly breached on Monday. Yet Fed funds futures point to a virtually unchanged implied rate path, with a 40% probability for one last 25 basis point hike by January and around 75 basis points worth of rate cuts for next year. This means that there is room for upside adjustment should upcoming data corroborate the view that the U.S. economy is faring well, which could add further fuel to the dollar's engines and perhaps propel the 10-year yield above 5.0%. Today, dollar traders may keep their gaze locked on the U.S. GDP data for the third quarter. Expectations are for the world's largest economy to have enjoyed double the growth rate it posted in the second quarter, with the risk perhaps tilted to the upside. The dollar pair that attracted the most attention was dollar-yen, which forcefully pierced through the psychological 150 zone yesterday, and with no interruption by Japanese authorities, it continues marching higher today, trading at around 150.60. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean intervention is not likely anymore. Perhaps officials are just considering a higher level at which they could step in. Indeed, earlier today, Japanese Finance Minister Suzuki warned against selling the yen, adding that they are watching market moves with a sense of urgency. A positive reaction to a better-than-expected US GDP today could prove to be the intervention trigger, but with the Bank of Japan maintaining a lid on Japanese government bond yields and the rally in U.S. Treasury yields showing no signs of abating, the pair may be destined to resume its prevailing uptrend at some point, even if Japanese officials act. Besides the U.S. GDP data, there is also an ECB meeting on today's agenda. When they last met, ECB officials raised interest rates by 25 basis points, but they signaled that this was probably the last hike in this tightening crusade. Since then, several officials have argued that inflation could return to their 2% objective even without any additional hikes, while economic data continues to point to a wounded euro area economy. This convinced market participants no more rate increases will be delivered and allowed them to price in around 65 basis points worth of cuts for next year. Wall Street tumbled yesterday with the tech-heavy Nasdaq losing more than 2%, after Alphabet reported disappointing cloud services revenue. After Wednesday's closing bell, Meta Platforms beat Wall Street's high expectations, but its stock fell after the company warned of weakening advertising demand. Thanks for watching today's market comment here at XM.com.